different designer, bitch, I picked to match I stay riding dirty with bricks in the hatch She keep on crying, I won't listen Shut up Since she got a show once I hit from the back What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Juan TV And I'm back with another video, you know what I'm saying? In your face, you dig, you know what I'm saying? And today, we finna talk about, you know what I'm saying? The heavy hitters in Jordan 1 For 2020, you know what I'm saying? We got the Mocha's Got the Midnight Navies And we got the Silver Boys, you feel me? Let's get into it. Yeah, it is. Alright, so starting off the video, I want to say make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Your boy on the way to 300. You know what I'm saying? I'm at 278. Go ahead, subscribe to your boy real quick. Roll to 1K. Yeah, it is. Alright, so with these, I just wanted to talk about, you know what I'm saying? What is, you know, what's, what's your favorite Jordan 1 this year? I already did a Jordan 1 of the year video, you know what I'm saying? But, which one is your favorite? Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, so initially, this one right here was my favorite for 2020, you know what I'm saying? Smoke, I put the union laces in them things, you know what I'm saying? I think they hitting, no cap. But... Yeah, initially these were my favorite Jordan ones of 2020. Oh, they still do. Yes, they smell so good. But the throne has been taken. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know the mochas you dig. If y'all have been an OG of the channel, well, not really an OG. If y'all was here when I first started, which was earlier this year, y'all know Travis Scott's my favorite artist of all time. So. If I can get that mimic look down to the Travis Scott, same way I got that mimic look down for the unions, I'm gonna take it. And like, it's fire. It's it's dope. It's dope. I'm not gonna do the pink laces though, cause I know who I am. So I'm gonna end up getting the Travis Scott ones eventually. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna keep this one as a mocha. You know what I'm saying? This is just straight mocha one. No Travis Scott poor man. Nothing. Just straight mocha. This one, however, I probably won't end up buying the Union, so I had to, you know, say swap out with the Union laces. Yeah, but yeah. So, with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, which Jordan one is y'all favorite? You know, so I got more in the closet. I didn't want to pull them all out. You know what I'm saying? I got the Court Purples. I got the, you know what I'm saying, UNC the Chicago's. I got Biohacks on the way. Got Lucky Greens on the way. So it's like, which one is your favorite? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, Biohacks, it's a dope colorway, it's fire, it's more like a what the theme type of thing, but it's not my favorite release this year, you know what I'm saying? Because the shoe is just, it's loud, like me, I like stuff like this, you know what I'm saying, like this, you can wear it every day, whatever, but like with loud sneakers, like the Biohacks, it's just like a one time, two time a year type of thing, you know what I'm saying, what well, to me anyway. I know some people out here that's probably gonna wear those every day. Me personally, I can't do it. It's too many colors, it pop too much, it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's too much going on. But like with Mocha, Smoke Grays, even Midnight Navies, you know what I'm saying, keep it low key. You just, you know what I'm saying, you just rocking them, you know what I'm saying? So, but I do think this is the best Jordan 1 of the year, colorway wise. Color way wise, yes. Um, cause it's just brown, sale, and black. Like it's the most neutral shoe you can think of. You feel me? Like other side, other than black and white, this is the most neutral shoe you can think of. And with that being said, y'all need to re-release the black and white OG Air Jordan ones. Like, come on, like those are fire. Y'all need to re-release those. But yeah, these, come on, these are fire. These are dope. You know what I'm saying? These, these clean. And then, with this joint right here, this, honestly, to me, is the best quality Jordan 1 of the year. So, like, but not my pair. You know what I'm saying? My dad hit on sneakers out. He got a men's pair. You know what I'm saying? A1. Grade school didn't get that treatment. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even get... The details on the back of the tongue, you know what I'm saying? But they gave it to us on the silver ones, which had me tight. Because I'm like, 
what the hell you talking about? You feel me? Like, I'm just, I'm just out there. That, that blue, that's a, that's a whole other video. That's a whole other video. But, but yeah, like, I mean, I love Jordan 1. That's why I always try to do a Jordan 1 video. Love Jordan 1's favorite silhouette. My favorite sneaker of all time is a Jordan 1, the Royal 1's. So let's just like, I had to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's, what's y'all favorite Jordan 1 of the year? So my top three, yeah, top three, it's going to have to be Mocha, mm -hmm. Clean, Smoke Gray, you know what I'm saying? And a very respectable third place, we have Midnight Navy. That's that's my kind of my take on it. You know what I'm saying? Number one, number two, and number three. You know what I'm saying? All of them dope in their own way. You know what I'm saying? This is a poor man, Travis. You know what I'm saying? If you want to call it, that's a poor man union. You know what I'm saying? This is a it's a new colorway, not really, because it came out in 01 as a mid. So. You know what I'm saying? It's just what you prefer. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people are going to say these, you know what I'm saying? I thought I wasn't going to buy into the hype. To me, it's not hype for me, though. Like, me, personally, I've been, I was waiting on this shoe since, like, I don't want to say all year. I want to say since, like, maybe July. Yeah, maybe since, like, July, I was waiting on this shoe. Like, because when we first got mock images, it was supposed to resemble the Travis Scott's a lot more. And then when we got actual, actual in-hand photos and actual pictures, I saw the black toe. I was like, hmm, I don't have a black toe color block in Jordan 1 in my collection. And these is fine. So, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, these, is, these are just clean though. Like, I rock my Mocha 3s a lot. I mean, like, anytime I go somewhere... You know, my round where I be on the store, the park, the mall, whatever. I put on the Mocha 3s. This is going to be very similar to that shoe. No cap. I'm going to wear this shoe a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try not to because resale is stupid crazy right now. So I'm going to try not to go crazy with it. But, you know, these still get a lot of wear out of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear them and then put them in hibernation. I, I kind of do that with my shoes and, like, the long time, long run, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I wear them for about four, five times, and then they stay in the closet for about six months to a year until I'm ready to bring them back out. That's just kind of how I operate, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to put too much miles on them, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, my favorite Jordan 1 of the year, you know what I'm saying? Second favorite, third place, and then these right here. These were an early Christmas gift from my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got these. And I was like, you know what? Now I want the other ones. You feel me? And she got them for me as an early Christmas gift. You know what I'm saying? These is dope. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, like I said, these two right here is going to be a separate video. I'm going to talk about these because, yeah, Jordan Brand, y'all tripping. But yeah, let me know your favorite Jordan 1 down in the comments. You did. Alright, so that was just a little, you know what I'm saying, a little, little sit down talk video, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just want to get to know y'all opinions on the Jordan ones that released this year, you know what I'm saying? Some people say that 2020 was a weak year compared to 2019, because you know 2019 had the Shattered Backboard 3.0s, LA to Chicago's, what else released last year? You had the, um, it was a lot of Jordan ones released last year, for real. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So people say, that this year was a weak year. I don't think it was weak, in my opinion, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? Cause me, I like simple stuff. So it's like, simple stuff like me, like this, it's just, it's fire to me. You did. But if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? All that good shit, all that hot shit. On the road to 1K subscribers, you did. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and I'm gone. You did. Take your whole music. Uh -huh. Chill. She say boss up, so I dropped the top on that bitch. She went fucking with.